Hi there. Welcome to my podcast on how to calculate the amount of the adjustment for a lower cost or market entry. In our last podcast, we talked about how to calculate an individual item's market amount by comparing replacement costs to a ceiling and a floor. And in this podcast, we're going to start from there and say, all right, let's acknowledge that that's been done. What's the next step? I'm going to show you two different ways to calculate the amount of that adjustment. One of the ways is by total, and the other of the ways is by item. So, let's get started. In this example, I have three different types of inventory. Skis, boots, poles. It's that time of year. And I am showing you what cost was for each of these items and what market was. And the market test has already been done. And these are the resulting market figures. So these things are totaled and ready to go. You can make the lower of cost or market adjustment for an entire inventory by account totals or by item. Let's start with account totals. Notice that the cost of the inventory is 713 and the cost of the market value of the inventory after all the lower of, or all the replacement cost tests has been done is 638. Since cost is 713 and market is 638, you simply pick the lower of the two. And so by total, we would say the value of the ending inventory is $638. You could also do this adjustment by item. Let me show you what I mean. The cost is $379 of our first item. The market's $479. The lower is $379, so we'll use that. Our second item, cost is $259, and market's $109, so we'll use $109. On our third item, cost is 50 and market, or cost is 75 and market is 50, so we'll use 50. If you sum up the total of these three items, you'll see that doing our by item analysis, the adjustment is $538. Let's make a little better five there. So, by item, you can see that it's a more stringent test of lower cost or market adjustment because you're picking up just the lowest price of each item. When you work from totals, some netting of gains and losses can happen. But when you work by item, you just get strictly the lower amount. When you're working by item in this fashion, inventory cost is 713 but inventory's market is 538. So it would require a bigger write down as we anticipated if you did it by item. Let's assume that we did it by item and we have an inventory account. And the balance in the inventory account is currently $713 because no adjustment has been made. What we're saying with the lower of cost or market adjustment is we need to write it down to $538. So it would need to be written down by $175. You could do that in a couple of different ways. You could debit cost of goods sold or a loss on inventory holding account for $175. And you could credit inventory directly, or you could set up an allowance to write inventory down to the lower of cost or market for the credit, and that would pick up the other 175. What this does is get the decline in utility of the inventory in the right accounting period. Let's take a look at what that particular journal entry does. It drops net income, which gets closed into retained earnings. So stockholders' equity is going to be smaller, and it drops our current assets. So our assets are going to be smaller. And it does that in the accounting period 
that the loss was incurred. So the, there's good matching and it also ensures that you show inventory at the correct amount on the balance sheet. A real simple podcast today on how to make the adjustment for lower of cost or market as it relates to writing down your inventory. Thanks for joining me.